This is I've Got Scars, baby. When we're talking about internal balance and we're talking about um, how exactly does one achieve that? Because, you know, when you think about internal balance, especially when you're thinking about external things, there's so much going on in the world. There's always some, a lot going on in the world. But I think it's especially a lot of something going on in the world at this at the moment. So with that, like, how do you how do you embrace internal balance? How do you do that stuff? Well, and there's so much going on out there. Right. The first thing is to um, uh, they have this saying that says, uh, well, we're not going to go into the saying just yet. We're going to bring that up later. Okay. But first, you would read the whole title. Right. So mm -hmm. it's not internal balance, period. It's internal balance. Would you marry you? And that means to take a complete assessment of your life and know that you are a magnet and whatever you're vibrating on, you will attract that to you. So mm -hmm. if you go inside of self and you start to identify these things that you want to change, this might not be the time for you to start attracting people and other energies to you because you're going to have a, a lot of that stuff that you would like to change still in your present space, right? Mm -hmm. So with that, you're able to identify, okay, if I had a spouse mm -hmm. and they had these same habits that I'm dealing with right now, how would our future look? Ooh, okay. So, wait, so wait, wait, wait. we gonna have to pause on that one. We gonna have to, cause that's a lot, okay? That's a lot. And I think a lot of people don't tend to, <laughs> They don't necessarily tend to, to see things that way. Because I think, and this, I'll just speak from my own perspective. You're like, okay, look, I know I'm dealing with these particular things right here. But I just want to attract a person that complements my energy. So they're, the stuff I'm not necessarily good at, I want them to be really great at. And vice versa, vice versa. But I, you know what I'm saying? Like you go into like, hey, you know. Oh, see, I, let me I, tell you where you're going right now. Yeah. You're going, you're not dealing with the internal balance part. I know, but I'm saying this right. is what a lot of times people think Maybe that, then. hey, I want to attract this type of person to me, mm -hmm. but they're not necessarily that type of person. They want right. to attract so, a loving person, but they're not a loving person. They want to attract. If you're not a loving yeah. person then, or if you think you're a loving person and you're not being so loving to yourself, mm. you're not someone who's not being so loving to you either. That's See? the key right there. So even if, so I, I want to repeat that because there are many people mm -hmm. who they're like, but I'm kind. I'm I, I'm generous. I do this for these people. I do that for those people. Blah 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 blah. And but like you said, they're not necessarily kind to themselves. They don't necessarily take a moment. Because for a lot of time, when you see people saying, "I do this for," you're also looking at people who do things for credit or attention, right? Mm -hmm. And there are people who do that without looking for credit or attention for sure, you know, mm -hmm. because it's just innately who they are. But sometimes people are giving in a space of, uh, of um, the expectation of something to come back when that shouldn't be the case. I remember we were really young. We used to do paybacks. Like, you know, if you give me um, two of your Doritos, I pay you back with one of my now laters later. You know, and my mama used to get so frustrated and she used to say, mm -hmm. no, you don't give because you want something in return. You give it because you have to give. And if mm -hmm. it comes back to you, then great. And if not, you did not lose, right? Yeah. So with that being said, we have to know that, you know, when we're expecting like first of all we need to eliminate all expectations right because sharing when we're sharing we're sharing from self we're not sharing from the expectation of self mm -hmm. but when we do find ourselves sharing from the expectation of a response we become very disappointed so there's another way to to weigh um the the, the scales of balance right if you sit in the middle of the scales like you see here on the book Mm -hmm. it's 
say this is um, somebody loving what you do. And this is somebody, I mean, this is a group of people that love what you do. This is a group of people that completely are against it. Are mm -hmm. you going to get depressed because they're against it? Or are you going to get big headed because they're with you? How about you just be the, the, the balanced self to where it doesn't matter what other people think. I'm standing strong and firm in this because this is who I am. And however I can assist anybody, good, bad, or indifferent, agreed or disagreed, how can I continue to be me at all times?